Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Elena Mona. What? LBE. Man, like, LBE, what you got them girls on for? Well, I don't know if you can kind of see right here. We have to create a fruit basket. <laughs> so, I am using one of the large um, baskets from Dollar General Easter, after Easter clearance. I have removed that hideous basket insert <laughs> y'all know me I don't like them inserts uh, and yes it did go in the trash don't come for me in the comments um, but I am going to use one of the white ones I love 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 to find the white ones uh, because they're so versatile and I can use them for so many different things um, what we're going to be adding into this basket are these maintenance oranges um, I picked up some gala apples uh, this is something simple. She just she didn't want a whole lot of, like grapes and all that stuff. She just wanted something simple, um, and this is what I could find simple enough according to her budget. But she still wanted to look nice, so I got some Granny Smiths, and then I picked up two um, sprouts of bananas. Okay, now I'm going to use the natural shred for this. Um, it just looks more natural with. Um, fruit baskets and stuff like that food baskets um first things first is i'm going to put some insert down at the bottom now i'm not going to use my traditional brown paper um i could but the reason being is i may have to level like some of this fruit um and i want some may have to go a little lower um and if i can't get it to flow the way i need it to flow then you know it's got to Y'all y'all see where I'm going. I need to be able to maneuver and that is very, very sturdy paper. Um now I can push it down or whatever and make it work, but I'm just I'm not gonna fight with it. I'm not in the mood. So <laughs> we're gonna make it easy on ourselves and use some of the paper that we picked up from Family Dollar for twenty five cents. And yes, I will be using a generous amount. Um this is a fairly large basket and somewhat of sturdiness inside I know you're like LBE that's thick too nah it's not as thick as that other paper so there is to probably use about three pieces of tissue paper That's to ensure that I get the basket full coverage. And then as far as the natural shade go, it's just going to go around the edges. Like honestly, one even you know, a nice decent piece of this can go a very long way when it comes to baskets. As you can see, I pretty much almost made it all the way around. It was just that one piece I pulled out. I love, love, love getting this from um, World Market. As you can see, I don't even like I put a dent in this bag. right to the side just in case I need some more all right then we're just gonna go in and just basically add our stuff but we want to alternate um, the colors this a little bit so I thought my arms was long enough honey I'm about to lose my life on this camera uh, and I picked up these mainers because you get more in a um in a bag for your book 
just an FYI. Um, and as you can see, I'm starting with one side because those bananas, when you set them a certain way, that's it. So, um, now I'm actually going to go in and add the bananas before I add the rest of the fruit. Um, because you want them to have somewhat of, uh, design as they set in here. So as you can see. And this, don't worry, this is going to be a little higher. Since we have like small little gaps here, there's really no wrong or right way to do it. A fruit basket. Um, you kind of just want to make it flow. So I fill that in, and then now we're just gonna fill in the rest of the basket. So good thing about these mandarins. Cause baby, they will fill in a space, honey. Do you hear me? I just gotta find a balance with these doggone, this doggone fruit, honey. The junk get to rolling away from you. <laughs> With her budget, it does allow me to use majority of this, actually all of this fruit. So I'm gonna try to get as much as I can in here. Lost the mainering. Trying to make sure I don't lose no more fruit. obvious there's a gap hole there we'll try to fill it in with mainers Thou shall not hit the flow. <laughs> and I got three apples left. Let's see. We may or may not be able to fit all of these on here. Um, this basket is going to a doctor's office. Business, business, and more business. You heard me? So. Come on, Apple. You don't want to act right. I 
neither does the main room. that green apple to stay some kind of way. All right, guys, so here is the finished product. Ooh, camera moving. Here's the finished product. Um, I'm going to get it wrapped and bowed. Um, once again, this is going to a doctor's office, so you know your girl had to make sure it was filled with all the goodies, the yummy goodies, the healthy goodies. Um, just a simple one, like she said, this is what she requested, um, and so we're going to get it shrink wrapped. I mean, not shrink wrapped, Lord have mercy, plastic wrapped, cellophane wrapped. Um, the reason why I cellophane wrap is because I like to leave two gaps on the side for air to flow, um, because between now and tomorrow when I go deliver it um, I need the temperature to stay <laughs> I don't need it to be syringed in because sometimes when you let fruit syringe in inside of plastic for more than a certain amount of hours um, which most likely I probably won't wrap this until the morning um, but if you pre-wrap it just try to leave some air pockets so y'all know how when you use r regular cellophane and y'all know how I told you to seal off the sides? Well, I won't be sealing off the sides on this one. I'll just be pulling the bottom piece down, but leaving the top open um, on both sides of the basket just so I can get some air to flow through. Um, and then I'm just going to join it together and put a nice bow on it, and on she goes. So, I think I am going to wrap it just, so, just in case I don't lose any fruit overnight. <laughs> um, and to secure it in, but yeah. This is pretty much it. This is simple, easy. This is the easiest thing you could possibly do um, to um, bring in some income. You can offer fruit baskets all day long, um, just depending on the customer's budget. Um, I mean, her budget was nice. It's just she just wanted some simple stuff. She didn't want grapes and all the other fruits and stuff like that. She wanted simple, like two different apples, some oranges, some bananas. In a nice basket with a nice bow and a nice tag that says thank you. So I have some thank you cards. Um, I can't remember where I put them at. But I have some thank you cards um, that I picked up from Dollar Tree. What I did was I just cut off the back of it and just kept the big part that said thank you. This is the easiest way to put thank you tags on stuff. Where you don't have to print off and all that stuff. You can go to Dollar Tree, pick up a pack of thank you cards. Um, basically cut the back part of the card off and they can still write on the on the opposite side because they're blank thank you cards so it's not like you cutting off any words um, and then they can still write on the flip side of it and then turn it back over and it'll say thank you on it in whatever color print whatever you want to do um, and you can just add that to it that way you don't have to work so hard printing off thank you cards if you just so want to make some special made thank you cards that is totally up to you but LBE e chooses the easy route it's so easy because I like to do take my whole punch a punch a little hole in it Bring the string around, wrap it around up on the bow. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay? So, I'll show you guys the finished product in a little short video once I get it all wrapped. I'm trying to cook dinner at the same time. So, um, I'm going to get this wrapped and then I'm going to go downstairs and finish dinner. Um, and then I'll um, bow it up and everything else. So, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope this gives you some inspiration to step outside the box and do other things. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.